Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Miriam and I love books. In this video I will tell you a bit more about how I put my TBR together and I'm going to share with you my TBR of April. So first, how do I make my TBR? I am trying to read 365 books this year, so um, that's a lot of books. But luckily this jar is filled with a lot of books and to be honest, there are still other books on my e-reader and like books that will come out very soon that I want to read. I'm not really afraid that I will ever run out of reading material. Um, a couple of years ago, I discovered that I had like 70 or 80 books on my bookshelves that I had not read and I wanted to change that. And I know actually it's not a lot like 70 or 80 books. Um, I know booktubers and other people, readers, who have a lot more unread books on their shelves, but I wanted to get rid of that. So I made a TBR jar and I still work with one because otherwise I will forget about all the lovely books that are on my e-reader. So in this jar I put notes with names of books on it. Um, the, I'm going to show you them to you. Like the light pink ones are fiction. Um, the dark pink ones are non-fiction books and there are hardly any of them in it but the purple ones are rereads but I try to reread not as much as I used to do before the start of a new month I pick out um, I think about 20 notes because um, every month consists of like 30 or 31 days but I pick 20 books so I have a bit of room for spontaneous reading or when I like when I get a book or buy a new book that I can read that book immediately and uh, sometimes I'm just like I really want to read this book so I forget about the TBR jar and just uh, start reading that book and when I get it out of the TBR jar and I've already read that book then I will just throw the note out. I'm not that strict for myself. And I put together my TBR for April um, at first I did not want to do TBR videos on my channel because I also do weekly wrap-up videos so you know about all the books I read but then I thought it would be nice if I share with you my TBR and then in a weekly wrap-up videos I tell you more about the books so you know what the book was about you will also notice the changes I make and maybe you're not really into weekly wrap-up videos but you do like to see TBR videos or the other way around so I thought I want to do TBR videos so I'm going to do TBR videos because I really enjoy watching TBR videos when other people do them. They're really inspiring for uh, my TBR which is like endless but that's what a TBR is for right? So you can add a lot of books which you will probably never read. No no no. You will read them. In the end you will read all the books you are meant to read. So I thought how am I going to present you my TBR because it's uh, a very mixed list on of ebooks, audiobooks and physical books but I thought of an order in which to present them to you. First I'm going to show you the Dutch originals, then the uh, books I will read in Dutch but are originally English or another language and uh, thirdly I will show you the books that I'm going to read in English. For the Dutch books the first book on my list is Margot by Sophie Zelstra. This is a book about Margot Frank, the sister of Anne Frank, which you will probably all know. And I think there have been more books written about her, but I'm very curious about this book. I believe it is a fiction book. I registered it as a fiction book, but sometimes I got them mixed up, but that's okay. The next book is Ik Pleit voor jou. Uh, written by Marijke Vos, a Dutch author. See, it's a feel-good book. She writes a lot of feel-good books. I've read several of her other books and I'm very curious about this book. It's her newest book. Hopefully I will enjoy it. The third Dutch book is um, uh, the third book in the Duivendil series, which I'm, I'm reading one book a month of that series, so it is a reread. And this used to be my favourite book of the series, which you can see by the state that it's in. I'm sorry, when I was a teenager I wasn't that careful with my books. So the next Dutch book on the list is Corda van Liefde by Marianne Grandia. Um, 
I've showed you this one in my book haul video, I believe. Um, it's a sequel to this book, Onder zijn Vleugels, and I might reread this book before I start reading this book because it's like three years ago since I read this and I can't remember much of it so I will reread it before I dive into this one I think. So those were all the Dutch originals I will try to read in April. Now there's a whole list of, of books that are originally written in English but I'm going to read them in Dutch. There's one physical book which I will show you first. Uh, Demon by Tosca Lee. I'm going to read this in the Easter weekend, so on like a Good Friday I will, might start in this book or maybe the day before because I think it's an excellent fit uh, to read during Easter times. I'm sort of okay with rereading five books a month, so I reread five books and I read 25 new books. That's I think that's quite okay, right? The next book is The Wren's Nest by Elizabeth Musser. I'm not entirely sure if this book was published in the US because there's like a very strange thing about the books by Elizabeth. Sometimes she writes a book in English and then the translator translates it into Dutch and sometimes her book in uh, is published in Dutch before it's published in English. That was the case with I'm going to get that one. Um, um, this book this was published in the Netherlands in I should look this up in in 2018 and it was published in the USA a year later some things were actually changed it says original title the end of myself and the title in which it was published in the US was when I close my eyes so actually a literal translation of this title it's very confusing and I saw on Goodreads that there was no English uh, edition of The Wren's Nest but that the original title was The Wren Wren's Nest. It is translated into Dutch, Norwegian, German I believe and some other languages but there wasn't an English edition amongst the editions so very confusing. The next book is The Hypnothna I can't say that. The Hypno The Hypnotist's Love Story by Leanne Moriarty. I told you in my weekly wrap up video that I do like the books by Leanne Moriarty and I'm very curious about this book. Uh, the next book is a non-fiction book. Um, I did not write the name of the author down so I don't know it but you can see it in this picture. It's uh, Sorry I'm Late But I Didn't Want to Come. It's about uh, introverts. I'm like 50% introverted and 50% extroverted, so so I might recognize myself in the story, but maybe I won't. I'm not sure. We'll see about that. Um, the next book on my list is Magic Hour by Kristen Hanna. I read The Nightingale and uh, probably when you see this video I've read another book by Kristen Hanna because it's next on my TBR. The next book on the list is The Magic of Ordinary Days. and Sometimes when I get pick out the notes of my TBR jar, I'm like, is this book even on my TBR? I pick up my e-reader and I get through the books and then I discover that it is definitely on my e-reader and that was the case with The Magic of Ordinary Days. I had no idea it was on my shelf. I have no idea what the book is about but it sounded alright I think when I added it. The next book on the list is Daughters of the Northern Shores. Um, this is a sequel to this book. I still remember what this book was about. The Dutch translation of Sons of Blackbird Mountain. So it's the book in that series, the next book. And um, I'm curious about that book. The next book on my TBR is The Returning Tide. And that book is sort of the same with The Magic of Ordinary Days. Um, I have no idea what it was doing on my TBR but it sounded alright. So I'm giving it a chance and uh, we'll see. And the last... Um, book where I'm going to tell you the English title but going, I'm going to read the Dutch version is uh, the fourth book in the Seven Sisters series and I'm not reading that book but I'm going to listen to the audiobook. I had like a month of cooling down from the Seven Sisters series. All the storylines are a bit the same and they're in my opinion not the best books ever written but I do want to 
continue listening to the whole story because I, yeah, I don't know, for reasons. So I'm going to listen to that book as an audiobook. As a test, I've listened to a few sentences, like not even an entire page, but I do like the voice of the narrator, so that definitely helps. Now I'm going to continue to the last books on my TBR, which are the English books I'm going to read in English. The first book is My Legendary Girlfriend by Mike Gill. It's his debut novel, and I'm going to read that one for a Dutch reading challenge. It's the Lazy Links challenge and every month uh, we get a prompt and you have to read a book uh, that fits with that prompt. The prompt of April is read the uh, debut of your favourite author and I got a lot of favourite authors but from a lot of those favourite authors I've already read their debut novels. Um, so I decided I would order My Legendary Girlfriend because I don't have the book yet but uh, just before I started filming this video, I placed an order. And the next book on my list is also a book by Mike Gale, the man I think I know. I might read like My Legendary Girlfriend at the beginning of April and this one at the end of April, but I'm very excited about this book. I heard so many good stories about it. Next is another non-fiction book by C.S. Lewis on stories. I think this is a collection of essays and this book has beautiful edges. I love that. Uh, really excited about this book. Um, can't wait to read it. <laughs> but obviously I can't wait to read a lot of these books because otherwise they would not be on my TBR. Except for the books I forgot that were on my TBR but, but sometimes those books are really the best. I'm also going to read The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. I'm sort of a bit scared because this book has so many pages. Um, I liked The Night Circus and I'm very curious about this book. I don't have a clue what it's about. Um, I assume it's about a sea and stars or no stars. But I might actually read this book when I'm a bit ahead of the challenge. You know, you probably know this by now that if I'm behind on my challenge I read thin books and if I'm ahead I dive into the bigger books. Uh, so this one will definitely be a read when I'm a bit ahead. The next book is The Writing Desk by Rachel Hawke. This book was in English on Kobo Plus. It wasn't there in Dutch because I don't think it has been translated into Dutch yet. I believe that are certain characters from the Fifth Story Avenue Society. The Fifth Avenue Story Society. Mm. Um, a book I read a couple of weeks ago. Uh, some characters of that book are also in the writing desk, so I can't wait to discover that. The 19th book on my TBR for April is Anne of Green Gables. I still have to read five classics at the moment. Hopefully when you see this video I have started Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, which is on my March TBR. Um, but I want to read another classic, so I want to get a bit ahead of the classics because I want to read five classics this year and Obviously this is a classic. It looks like a very big book, but I think that's also because the size, it's a very small, um, yeah. I don't know how to say this, but probably you get what I mean. I mean, it fits in my hand, this book, but most paperbacks do as well. But I think this will be a very pleasant book to read. And the last book on the list is actually a trilogy, so um, there are 22 books on my TBR, maybe even 23 if I'm going to reread that Dutch book I talked about. Um, I'm going to read The Juicing by Rochelle Decker, the daughter of Ted Decker. I really enjoy his books and I saw that the books that are written by his daughter are on Koba Plus so I can read uh, the entire trilogy. If I don't enjoy the first book then I might change my mind but I think I will like her books. Um, but you will see all about that in a weekly wrap-up video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my TBR for April. Um, if so let me know in a comment so I might do a May TBR as well in the future. I will probably do that. I think I actually already put that on schedule so um, whatever your opinion is, I will do a TBR video. <laughs> um, 
If you want to follow me on my journey where I read 365 books, or if you just want to see more bookish content, then please subscribe to my channel. And as always, happy reading!